Welcome back to the Sports Report here on WTLW, joined by some members of the New Bremen Girls Volleyball State Championship team. I'm with Coach Diana Kramer, also Melina Schrader, and Olivia Heidkamp. Ladies, congratulations once again. I know you probably never get tired of hearing uh, congratulations, but how does it feel, Coach? I'll start with you to bring home another state title to New Bremen. It's an amazing feeling. Um, it's it, it's just so hard to do, and for these girls to accomplish it this year, um, it's just really remarkable. And most of these girls, Olivia was on the state runner-up team back in 2020, and Melina's been a manager for some of the state teams, so is Olivia. So just for it to come full circle, it's just awesome. Um, I couldn't be prouder of my team and of just the community. Our community support all season has been remarkable and they they absolutely were a huge part in us accomplishing our goal this year. Talk about the community support for a second. What does it mean to know that when you guys travel and when you're in there competing uh, in the Nutter Center, that you've got pretty much the entire town of New Bremen uh, backing you up as you go into those matches? Yeah, I mean, so for a lot of people, you know, the community starts following the team when they start to advance in the in the tournament run. You know, our community has mm -hmm. been behind us from day one. You know, when we're playing Rushi, our first game of season, we pull out both sides of bleachers and the community is out in full force. All of our mat games, the gyms are full. And we knew that they would be behind us and they've been huge supporters all season long. And for that, we're just incredibly thankful and grateful. And um, we're very humbled by the by the situation because we know that, it's not like that everywhere. So we just want to say thank you to our community. And, you know, we want to keep cheering on the Cardinals football team tomorrow night. And, you know, every sports team in New Bremen is excelling and doing a really good job. So go Cardinals and thanks to our community for giving us that support. Yeah, New Bremen football obviously having a great season. Their season uh, still on the way. And I want to go back to last year. You guys uh, fell in the districts to New Knoxville. Uh, what was the message that came out of that as you headed into this season? Yeah, it was a, it was a heartbreaking loss last year. You know, we went in the tournament with an undefeated record, made it to the district finals. It was one versus two in the district finals and New Knoxville was just better than us that day. And I remember in the locker room after that game, there were a lot of tears and, you know, that's, that just means that it meant something to us. And we talked about all the good mo moments and memories that we had this season and, you know, thanked our seniors for being great leaders. And then it kind of left us feeling really, really hungry for this year. And these girls put in a lot of time and effort in the off season to get better and put themselves in position to compete for a state title this year. So without their hard work, their determination, without the players that came before them and the players that are coming up after them, you know, things like this don't happen. Olivia, I want to turn to you because it was your class that took the mantle of leadership once all of that took place. So what was the message to the other girls on the team? What was the message to the underclassmen as far as how this season was going to end up in comparison to last year? Mm -hmm. Last year's like loss, it really hurt all of us, but like we knew that we were going to come out a lot stronger this year, mentally and physically. So we just expected to win this year. You went up against Monroeville it's a it's a fairly well-known opponent for you coach at least you played them over the last a uh, couple of years uh was there was there an advantage there to playing a team that you had some familiarity with that deep in the tournament or do those things really not come into play very much once you get to this level I mean I think that it absolutely does and at the same point it doesn't because they're a new team with new players but they just have the tradition behind their name too it wasn't their first time playing in the Nutter Center. It wasn't their first time playing in a state semifinal game. It was their first time playing in a state championship game, but they expect to win as much as we do. Coach Schnook does a great job up there, and we have a lot of respect for that program. So we knew going in that they were going to be ready, and we had to be focused and ready to go from the start too. And these girls put on their game bases, and they went out and they earned points, um, and they made plays, and they made plays at critical times, and they were – crown champions because of that how do you maintain the the focus because i think if you you know media guys like me sit on the sideline and, and look at the matchups look at everything and go 
you know, New Bremen's probably going to win this thing. And looking back as far as maybe even districts or regionals, thinking that that's that's the case. Uh, when when you have that perception that's out there, and when you have had the success, the success that you've had, how do you maintain the the focus uh, and the intensity that you have to maintain to make sure that you don't get upset by someone who you know catches you napping or maybe catches you believing uh, your hype that you know guys like me tend to throw around. Well, I mean, it's a good thing that we practice when we don't play because practices are incredibly intense. And in practice, there's a lot of times where we're struggling to make plays where I'm putting the pressure on these girls that they need to step up and put a ball away. And if they don't, then, you know, we're talking about how we have to attack this situation differently. And we talked about a couple key words this year. And one of those going into the month of October was persistence, just being persistent with everything that we do, whether it's our attack, whether it's our passing, whether it's our mindset, whether it's us just physically being ready, being persistent was really, really important. And more importantly, being humble. I remember calling timeouts during our tournament run when we're up five or six points and reminding the girls that, hey, I expect you to win. I expect you to win this timeout, but I also need you to be humble enough to know that teams come back from this deficit all the time. And I've been coaching long enough to know that Sometimes the best team doesn't always win. Sometimes teams catch you sleeping because of your mental mental preparation and your mental your mental state. So reminding them and keeping this team humble, which they were incredibly humble, um, is really, really important. And just staying locked in the moment. We were locked in the moment and we focused on winning one point at a time so at so many different points this season. Our tournament trail was not easy. We had to play a Temple Christian team that only had three losses in district semifinals and then turn around and play Marion local, who is ranked number two in the state, the only team that beat us. And then you go and play, have to play Jackson center and Fort Laramie who both teams are great are well coached and just with some phenomenal athletes. And then you go into the state semifinal and you're playing Crestview, a team that you already beat too. So a lot of the teams that we played during our tournament run, we've seen during season, we saw Marion local, we saw Jackson center, we saw Fort Laramie, and we saw Crestview four of our last five games during our tournament trail. We had to beat another, we had to beat them except for Marion local. We had to find a way to beat a really good team twice. And that's really, really difficult. So keeping these girls persistent and humble was really, really important. How does that translate Olivia? I'll, I'll ask you to kind of leave this question here. How does that translate on the court? Cause you know, the coach preaches that kind of stuff and she's right there on the sideline, but it's still, you know, you girls on the court getting the job done and having to maintain that focus. So how does that translate for leaders like you, for the other seniors on the team to make sure that that, that that message continues to make it from the sideline onto the court and stays on the court that whole time? Yeah, we know she tells us. So like, we're like, okay, we have to do this. But sometimes like when we're <laughs> down or like we give up a huge run, we'll like meet in the middle of the court. And we're like, Hey, everyone take a deep breath. We're fine. Like chill out. And then we'll just go out and do our thing. So like, we always just are like mentally strong enough. Well, it's contributed to a, another state championship. Congratulations ladies. Once again on uh, another state title and here's to uh, a few more, but cheer on the, the boys football team for, uh, for the, for right now, coach Diana Kramer, Olivia Heidkamp, Lena Schrader, ladies again, congratulations. And thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you.